Hi friends, how are you? Hope you're well. And that we're on to another another Friday, the last Friday in October. Can you believe that? It's like, where is time going this year? It's just flying. I can't believe that we're going into into November on, su on Sunday. That's just like crazy. Anyway, I hope you've had a really good week. Mine's been good. We were out for a little drive the other day down the Scottish borders, looking at this, the very nice autumn scenery and stuff. It was lovely. We had a picnic lunch in the car. And it was just really nice to get out of the house for a while. I've also managed to go and do some swimming this week, uh, one time, and I managed to up the number of lengths I was doing. The pool was a wee bit warmer than it has been, so I like a kind of warmer pool than a colder pool. Um, yes, I know for someone who's, who was a swimmer, a competitive swimmer, I actually hate cold pools. I loathe them. Um, I am much happier in a warmer pool temperature. Um, than cold. I can vividly remember doing a swimming training and my hands within like two minutes of being in a pool my hands were blue as were my feet because it was just so cold. Um, it, did, it didn't make training a very nice experience at times but that's the way it is. Anyway enough of that. What am I going to be reading I hear you cry. At night I'm reading Deborah Harkness's The World of All Souls. For all of you that know or have been watching for a while you know that I love the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness and subsequent other books that she's writing about this world and the characters um next next year we have the next one coming out we've had times convert which is phoebe and marcus's story the next one that comes out i believe i think is gallo glass's story and that i am so looking forward to because i love gallo glass he is one of my favorite characters in this series uh, he is just such a lovely lovely man and I hope that his story is has got a happy ending. I really do. If I don't, I, if it doesn't, I'm going to be so upset. But anyway, I'm reading this. But what I love about this is, is it is a guide. It lets you see behind the scenes, as it were, of um, the All Souls. And it gives you a lot more information. Um, so that is really nice. But it also has illustrations, like so. And as you can see, there's another illustration there. And then one of my favourites, I actually bookmarked it, is that. I hope you can see it. So yes, I am really, really looking forward to getting into this. I've started it and my bookmarks have fallen out, so that's why it was... It was, I, I choose, chose to bookmark the, the picture, but I'm really, really looking forward to reading that. On my Kindle Fire, I'm, I downloaded yesterday, or yeah, downloaded Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. I've read one of her books before, quite enjoyed it. Started Practical Magic, I am not 100% sure about it at the moment. It's, it's not exactly grabbing me, but I kind of wanted a, shall we say, a halloween -y vibe for over part of the the weekend but the other thing I will be starting in on this is a buddy read with Rebecca the colourful book nester we are reading it is the second book in a series and I think this is the little brook Brooklyn bakery hold on till I double oh it's closed yeah I'm sure this is ah this is the little Bro Brooklyn Bro bakery she read she read wrote one for a I think it's Julie Chapman. She wrote a book set in Copenhagen. I think it was a little cafe shop, cafe in Copenhagen. Um, so it's a, start, it's a series. So Rebecca and I are going to read the second one. I'm really looking forward to that one. I think it'll be it'll be nice to get back into that world again. What else am I doing this weekend? There's actually no. Oh, there is rugby. There's international rugby tomorrow. Scotland play Wales. So I'll be watching that. Um, England was supposed to be playing Italy, but I'm not too sure with all the COVID stuff that's happening. I don't know whether that game is going ahead. And Ireland are playing France. Again, I'm not sure whether that, that game is going ahead. But I do know the Scotland-Wales Wales game is going ahead. So I'll be watching that. Um, we're going out for lunch tomorrow, but very, very safely. We're going up to the leisure club that Mum and I are members of, where we go swimming. We've booked a table because tomorrow's dad's birthday, so um, we're going to go and celebrate his birthday for, with some lunch. And then what else, have, what else have I been doing? Well, today I spent time, I hope you can see that. Uh, this is my new journal. Um, 
it's part of my ongoing sort of therapy as it were I w it was suggested that I start journaling and I decided I wanted to have a book that was just specifically for that so I got this one and as I say I put that that sticker on it that I got from Redbubble this beautiful notebook is from Stationery Island um, and I've done sort of spent today doing some of it I haven't done any decoration on the fly leaf and I haven't done any decoration on that page for November but I have kind of done that I hope you'll be able to see it and then I've got quite an important page I think spending I think the book page is probably maybe more important and then I have that and hopefully you can see the achievements and then that's going to be my sort of, my daily sort of layout so I'm, I was, I've got the first seven days of November laid out and I'm really looking forward to to using this I've never done journaling seriously yes I used to keep a, a diary when I was when I was younger but I've never done anything like it um, for a long time so I'm really looking forward to getting into this and just sort of seeing how it goes and reviewing it at the end of the month going right what worked what didn't work how can I change it so it's gonna be an ongoing process and it's one that I'm looking forward to doing but that's that's been my week and that's been my week that'll be my weekend rugby I will be reading I am so I'm also doing some crochet I am crocheting a scarf for a friend as a present and I've also got the patches for the patchwork blanket I've got those they're all done but I just need to sort of um, start crocheting them together so I think I might start doing that this weekend as well but that's it for my weekend nice and quiet not very much happening anyway I hope you've enjoyed this video please leave me in the comments down below um, for what you're doing this weekend if you get any plans um, and also what you're going to be reading if you've read either of the book any of the books I've mentioned please let me know down below and what you thought of them no spoilers please um, oh the other thing I'm doing this weekend is I'm hoping to have a video chat with one of my friends in America so that'll be really nice have a catch up chat I haven't done that for a while but that's it hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and a subs a subscribe if you like I hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon bye